Welcome back. We got uh, Kokiri Forest suicidal gunslinger in the uh, the burning heat of West Coast Canada. The uh, the suffrage. I don't know. All I know is suffering suffrage from uh, Tom and Jerry. No idea what it actually means or if it even means anything, but it's a word that I know how to say. Yeah, I've been able to read, uh, study Japanese lately, which is kind of sucks. Um, because I was having a lot of fun with that, and then D&D uh, &D just kind of popped off, but... I still try to use it. I still read it whenever it pops up. I mean, I still... Actually, I haven't even been reading manga, really. It's been, it's been a lot of uh, just straight-up D&D thoughts, and... Um, but uh, it pops up every so often. Some, uh, some Japanese texts, you know, on... Stuff I have around the house, or stuff that people share, pictures, whatnot. So it pops up around the place from time to time, and uh, I like to make sure that I, uh, I push myself to try and translate anything. At least, not not necessarily translate, because to translate something is one thing, right? But to understand what's being said is another. To me, anyway. Like, being able to read something in Japanese and being able to tell somebody else what it means are two different things to me. I could tell somebody like, oh yeah, they're talking about like, uh, I was trying to think, I, I was trying to think of a word, but I, I can't think of the word. Um, like, uh, yeah, I, I, I could say, oh yeah, they're talking about um, like romance and boys and stuff, you know, I'd be like, but I couldn't tell them, oh yeah, like this person saying exactly this thing, you know, translated and like this is the way that you would kind of say that in this way. But like in Japanese, it, it kind of has a meaning more along like this kind of line and like this word is kind of like this one, but it's kind of used a little bit differently too. So not really quite the same thing. I mean, it's just there's there's a lot more that goes on in uh, in translating it than, uh, than there is in uh, just understanding the words that are being said to me anyway. I don't know if that's normal or not, but... Uh, so when I say uh, that I've, I've been translating it, it's not that, I've been reading it. I mean, in the first place, I don't even know necessarily all of the words in Japanese. And by I don't necessarily know all of the words in Japanese, I mean I'm missing a, uh, a ton of vocabulary for, uh, for Japanese. Which is uh, unfortunately kind of holding me back from being able to read a lot of the manga that I've been missing. I don't know, my friend says that I'm missing grammar. And uh, when it comes to the spoken word, definitely grammar is the thing that I need, but, uh, you know, to understand what's going on in a, in, a, in a story or something like that, you don't really need grammar so much, anyway. You need the basics. You know, you need to know how to tell the basics apart, but uh, beyond that, I mean, it's, yeah, whatever, right? So I've, uh, I've been trying to learn some vocabulary in my, uh, in my spare time. Like, grammar's still the more important one, of course, because uh, that's going to get me farther. But um, I've been trying to learn some vocab in my, in my downtime. Just to be able to, to kind of follow what's being said a little bit better, at least. You know, grammar will get me to making my own sentences better, but vocabulary is what I need in the, in the position that I'm at, where I understand the grammar to a certain extent anyway. Um, to be able to read manga. You know, if we're talking like literature or something like that, like that's fine. But like this is stuff that's targeted to kids, right? Largely. It's not it's not very complicated reading. <laughs> I'm just gonna be honest with you. If I was reading like a, a light novel even or something like that, which is like the lowest tier of literature. Maybe not quite the lowest tier, but like it's it's pretty it's pretty low on the the tier list of literature. You know, we'd uh, it'd be a different story, even even just at that point where, uh, you know, knowing the grammar is going to make a, a much bigger difference. Because you don't have pictures, you don't have, like, that that context that, uh, that really helps a lot with um, following manga. Because uh, in manga, you've got, uh, you've got pictures. Yeah, I can be like, oh, is this this one? Is, is it, are they trying to say rose or are they trying, I don't know. Uh, if this is a real example, by the way, I'm just making something up for the sake of example. I'm not thinking about a real example. Um, 
But, uh, like, are they talking about rose or, uh, like, peanuts? And there's a picture of a rose in the in the thing, you're like, play rose. <laughs> Probably, I'm gonna go with rose. You know, or uh, are they saying this is, um, Takeshi's rose? Or are they saying that it's a rose that looks like Takeshi? And you got a, a rose that Takeshi is holding, and you're like, I'm gonna go with, uh, with that it is Takeshi's rose. You know, it's, you got the context to kind of to kind of fill in the blanks that you've got from the the pictures, so uh, you don't get that in uh, in proper writing, and you don't get that when you're trying to speak or write yourself, um, because you have to come up with it just on your own, and, and you don't you don't get to just figure it out as you go. You have to know it. Um, so to me, anyway, the vocabulary is is, uh, is more important for. Uh, for my end goal, which is being able to read a couple of manga that I have not been able to read because there isn't any English translation. And I am actually there. I'm, I'm able to read, actually, uh, as long as the... So, uh, Japanese has, like, three alphabets, kind of. You got the katakana, you got the hiragana, and then the, uh, the kanji. And, um, the kanji, uh... In a lot of writing, um, at least the writing that I'm currently reading, which is like manga and then training stuff, like studying stuff, um, you'll have uh, something called furigana on top, on next to it, which is just a, a hiragana pronunciation guide for the kanji, so that you know how to say it. And you can be like, "Oh, it's that one." Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like uh, you'll have the the kanji for mizu, which is water. And then uh, you'll have like the Furigana for me and Zoo next to it, which uh, lets you see that it is pronounced as Mizu, and then you can be like, okay, yeah, it's water. Gotcha. Right? Um, so as long as I can see that Furigana, the Furigana, I don't know. I'm not good at pronunciating, 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 pronunciating. I'm not good at speaking it, right? I won't say I've got the, the pronunciation of, uh, of Japanese down to uh, an acceptable degree, but, um, like, I understand it, right? I understand how to pronounce it. Um, it's just that, like, knowing how to do it and then being able to do it are two different things. Like, you can know how to kick a soccer ball into a net, okay? Go play soccer. Are you going to be able to do it in the heat of the moment? Probably not, right? Probably gonna probably gonna not be able to do it as well as you uh, as you know how to do it, right? Like you know that you kick the ball towards the net, but in practice, it's uh, it's, it's it's a little bit harder to do that when you also have uh, like people trying to stop you from doing that. Which I mean, I'm not really having people try to stop me from pronouncing Japanese right now. But I, look, the metaphor gets a little out of hand. But that's not the point. The point is that uh, I'm not so great at pronunciating. I'm not good at speaking in. I can barely speak. And you want me to speak Japanese too? Come on. <laughs> Come on. Can't be. Can't be serious. You want me? You want me to speak Japanese? You want me? To, I cannot. I'm, I'm barely, barely capable of pulling together an English sentence, let alone uh, one in Japanese. I can read it. I can. I can understand it if somebody speaks it to me moderately well. But you want it to be. You want it. You want it to be speaking as well. Nah. I gotta learn how to speak in general. Speaking of, still not able to talk to my parents, which is uh, interesting. I haven't been working on my voice enough at all. Um, it's another thing that's just kind of falling to the wayside with all the other stuff that I've got going on. Just a busy, busy life. I like it though. It's, uh, it's satisfying. It's gratifying. It's rewarding. I'm, uh, I'm pleasantly pleased with it. So. Uh, I'm not. I'm not complaining about being so busy, but uh, I am definitely quite busy. Where are you going, buddy? Come on, you stupid crawlers and stalkers and stuff! Ah, you stinking, stinking things! I would have had him. I would have had him. He was mine. Yeah, you just crouch. He can't hit you if you crouch. 
Don't even don't even worry about all the damage I'm taking. It's not real. That's about as good as we're gonna be able to do. That's good enough. So uh, I've been reading a bit of manga, but not not too much. That's the moral of the story. I'm able to read it though. I'm able to read it in Japanese in the in the original language and the raws. It's uh, it's good fun. Let's see. So he's gonna come out. He's probably gonna throw some uh, some grenades at us, some rockets, which is gonna be quite painful. But uh, it doesn't matter because then he's gonna go ahead and do a little bit of uh, nothing as he tries to approach us and just can't because of uh, the sheer. Incredible amounts of damage that I can dish out with this gun. Ho! Get dusted, son. Let's go. Man, I like gunslinger. It's satisfying. You know the worst part about sweating so much? It's like the back of my head gets all itchy as the sweat like drips down. It's horrible. It's horrible. What I don't do for you. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.